Good morning, Mike from the Rural Montana family. It's going to be another beautiful day here in Rural Montana. Look over there, the sun's already shining onto the mountain. But it's a little chilly. As you can see here, we got glacier building here. It's amazing, this ice sheet here grew several inches in a couple days here. Um, all the snow melt coming down from the hill from the last two weeks when it was way above normal temperatures. Now froze as we have an arctic blast coming through here and it is 17 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. Over there you can see our Model S still buried in snow. It's been sitting there for about a week, not plugged in. Um, at about 40 to 50 percent of charge. And here we got the three and the bolt. They're both plugged in. We've been driving the three, so it's been plugged in because of that. The bolt I moved over here yesterday. Yesterday it was only about uh, eight below zero here. And I moved it over here and plugged it in knowing that I will be driving it this morning. And uh, so why plug it in? Well, this allows it to uh, do a little battery warm up if it needs to, wants to, knowing that the temperatures drop to close to 20 below. So we brought it over here and uh, I did not preheat it this morning. It's just been plugged in. So we're getting in the car right now and then we're driving out to a job site about 25 miles from here. And we'll see what we get for range and so on. Let's go. Okay, we got in the car. We show 152 miles at 75%. Let's fire it up. Oh, ice possible. Yeah, there's tons of ice. So, here shows an average of uh, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which uh, <laughs> we're probably not even gonna come close to. Um, so, yeah. 152 miles average is expected, minimum 124. We're not even coming close to the max today. So let's see, heater is on. Let's set it to auto here real quick and see what it does. Temperature is set to 71 degrees out here. This only shows minus 13, not sure why. Uh, when I left the house, it was still uh, 17 below and the one in the house is probably way more accurate okay so we're showing the same let's turn climate control off do we gain anything uh, we gain a few miles with the climate control off but there's no way we can be off I'm already getting cold in here so let's turn it back on and there it drops again so all right, based on this, 149 miles average at 75%, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hours. It shows there, that's what we had yesterday. And um, I think we're gonna reset this. There we go, and it jumps to 3.9 as always. And well, we'll uh, start driving. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, car is not preheated. If we look here real quick, we can see climate controls going full blast. Um, no battery preconditioning showing right now. So it must have done some battery preconditioning during the night. All right, uh, let's go. All right, as we're going down the driveway here, it's a little bumpy. Um, Interestingly, this immediately switched to minus 15, um, but it's even a little colder than that. So that's an indication it uh, has gotten a little bit of warmth from somewhere. 
most likely from the battery pack as the car probably has been conditioning the battery overnight when temperatures dropped it uh, would warm it up a little all right and uh, just another not even a quarter mile down the road there we go it dropped to minus 17 now now it's reading the real temperature whatever leftover temperature there was is now gone <laughs> all righty so so far so good uh, we can already see right next there to the uh, uh, state of charge showing uh, below the 148 that yellow line starts going down and we already dropped from 3.9 to 3.5 and we're just like a half a mile into the drive here and ooh, the sun is bright but beautiful it's beautiful out this morning great it, it's just super beautiful just a little chilly oh look at this Oh, it was just minus 18 and switched back to minus 17. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that line there is growing towards the minimum. That is because <clears throat> we didn't preheat the car, so we need a lot of juice for heating right now because, well, it's cold in here. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, the, everything is a little stiff that's how it is even for a car when it gets cold things have a little harder time to turn and move and so just naturally uh, they will be using more juice and you can see there the average keeps dropping so well we'll keep going oh there we go 18 below now showing so and now we're using a some more for driving but still a lot of it there that purple is for uh, cabin heat so we'll use a lot of it oh, and look at this beautiful here it's kind of steaming from the water here from our creek we see a little steam <laughs> and it froze overnight too there are certain sections of it so really neat all right, let's go over the bridge and uh, I'll keep you updated as we go. Okay, we're about, what, three miles into the trip here. And you can see the yellow line next to the state of charge there. Been dropping down towards minimum pretty quick. The average range hasn't dropped too much yet. And we can see on the right side they are just below where it shows the consumption in kilowatt hours uh, just below that we see a little gray line and that is the regeneration limitation so if I let go of the accelerator it would only go down to that line we can do this real quick oh, we're not even fast enough to reach that but so <clears throat> that is a limitation that's because the battery is not warm it's not super cold because we have actually quite a bit regen there's times we have even less than that also we have no uh, power restriction on this car because it was plugged in um, if the car would not have been plugged in overnight uh, we actually would have a uh, propulsion limitation as well showing on the dash but it was plugged in so it would take care of the battery um, it does take care of it more while it's plugged in because it has basically unlimited power available um, when it's not plugged in it conserves as much power as possible and does as little as possible uh, of uh, battery conditioning since it doesn't know when you will be driving again and how far you will have to go it will conserve as much as possible so for the best driving experience in cold weather you should leave the car plugged in whenever possible that will always keep the battery at a decent temperature um, so you have basically uh, the, the no limitations or hardly any like we have this little bit of regen limitation we have no propulsion limitation so that was really good and also while it's plugged in and it's cold out you want to preheat 
uh, in temperatures like these I would preheat at least 20 minutes uh, most likely more like 40 minutes and warm the car up nicely so that the interior is nice and warm and when we get going and unplug it we still have full range and uh, just have to keep the car warm we don't have to heat it up from cold and so we keep our range up and that yellow line on the left would actually not be going down like this uh, the way it is right now it would be kind of neutralish right around um, uh, the 143 there it may show a little bit green may show a little, little bit yellow uh, as we're driving this stretch here because we're only going about 35 to 40 miles an hour here so all right uh, average uh, dropped even more we're down to 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour now five miles into the trip as we are driving out of the valley temperatures are warming up so we can see there we're at now 12 below zero and uh, we still have some frost on the windshield here it hasn't been warm enough in here to uh, melt that off climate control is set to auto so well I'll keep you updated we'll be getting on the interstate here in about a mile or so we are on the interstate now for already about three miles or so and uh, there's an unusual amount of traffic this morning for out here anyway so here in Montana the speed limit is 80 miles an hour and uh, which is a little fast for the Bolt the Bolt doesn't really like to go that fast but that's all right we can go 80 it can do it but as you can see the yellow line next to the state of charge has maxed out to the bottom so extremely high consumption you can see the ring around the speedometer is uh, dark yellow really bad consumption and with the average drop down to 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour uh, so we are about about 12 miles into it and you can see the average uh, range is now down to 127 plus the 12 that we drove would make 139 but if I remember right it showed 147 when we started so we're losing range going a little bit slower for some reason this truck up here he passed us and now he's in the fast lane and slowed down. Ah, weird. Yeah, he's speeding up a little bit again, but... Anyway, <clears throat> so yes, we're losing or we're using more range due to heating and speed in this cold temperature. And uh, as you can see, it's beautiful and sunny out. And the temperature came up. Uh, we're only at oh actually now minus five so we're warming up as we are uh, driving here along the river I don't know if you can see the river down there it's uh, it looks like it's frozen <laughs> it looks beautiful anyway so all right we got another about 10 15 miles to go and we'll keep you updated all right we're off the interstate for about a mile or so and uh, heading towards our destination average consumption there still shows 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour um, the yellow line still all the way down to the minimum <laughs> as to be expected we got what 24 and a half miles in to the trip right now we drop from 75 to 60 percent state of charge according to the meter there which uh, means we're between 55 and 50 and uh, sorry 55 and 60 percent anyway so 103 miles showing there we did 25 miles so 
we lost about 20 miles of average range on this trip. Uh, that's just extra consumption due to cold and speed. And out here it's nine below, it's getting colder again a little bit here. So we got about another mile to go and we'll see what the end result of this morning trip will be here shortly. Okay, we have arrived. 26.1 miles, average 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, yellow line all the way down. Now it starts going up because we stopped driving. Uh, average range 101, so that would make it 127. We lost a total of 20 miles of range on this trip. Uh, temperature here is 7 below and you can see cabin heat still requires basically 25%, 75% or almost 75% went to driving and a little bit to battery conditioning. <clears throat> we have used a total of 12.8 kilowatt hours this morning for the 26.2 miles so yeah this was just a uh, quick trip to uh, one of my job sites here and uh, usually I would preheat this car um, I don't like to travel in a cold car so I would usually get give it about 20 to 40 minutes of preheat at home while it's plugged in <coughs> excuse me and uh, we still would lose quite a bit of range just due to uh, speed and temperature but not nearly as much uh, if it's preheated because we would not use uh, about we, we can see right now here it's using six kilowatts just for heat and it has been doing that all the way from home to here so we could save that definitely by preheating the car Alrighty, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Thank you. Goodbye.